us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. Question 12 leads. The diagram shows a sector A or B whose area is 34.65 cm square. The angle subtended at the center is 81 degrees and the radius is R cm. Take pi to be 22 over 7. Find the radius R of the sector. Then beam, the ratio of the areas of two similar solids is 9 to 25. If the volume of the bigger solid is 375 cubic centimeter, what is the volume of the smaller solid? So let us start with question M. So we know that the area of a sector is given by the angles obtaining this sector, which is in this case 81, divided by 360 degrees, multiplied by the formula for the area, which is the pi r square. So what are we given? So we are given the angles obtaining, then we are given the pi, then we are given the area. The question is asking us to find the radius. That's what we are required to find. So we can now start working with this so let me use the bigger space so that it's easier for me to calculate so i know the area is 34 34.65 is equal to 81 which is the angle subtending this sector this is the area then we take this to be pi so over 360 degrees multiply by 22 over 7 then multiply by r square we need to solve for r that's what we are solving for so the first thing is let me do the whatever i can simplify so 34.65 over 1 is equal to 9 into 81 is 9 9 to into 360 is a 40 then multiply by 22 over 7 multiplied by r square. Remember, we are looking for r square. Let me even put it in lead so that it's easier to see. Then I know that 2 can go into 22 to give me 11. Then in 240 to give me 20. Okay, then at this point, it's at this point that you need to be careful because you're multiplying big numbers and you have decimal places there. So you need to be careful on how you deal with this one because you don't have a calculator. So you need to be strategic. So, let me make R square the subject of the formula. So, what I'm going to remain with, I'm going to have 3, 4.65 over 1. Then, this becomes the inverse. So, it will be multiplied by 20 over 9. Okay. Then, multiply by, then the inverse of this one is what? Is 7 over 11 is equal to R square. So the one thing that I've done is I've multiplied this side by its inverse, which is which inverse is this one. Then multiply again this side by its inverse, which is this one, so that they cancel out. So they like moving this side. So that's the principle that I've used. Okay, in case I could have confused someone. Then what you notice is I can easily get rid of the decimal points by multiplying it by this okay easily so what am i going to do so what i'm going to do is i'm going just to find 3 4 point now i'm going to move it to one decimal place so 0.65 multiplied by 20 so i'm going to move it to one decimal place so it comes to that point then this zero goes so i'm going to remain with him 
technically speaking, I'm remaining with him. This 6.5 multiplied by 2. That's what I'm going to have. So you need to be strategic. I'm giving you tips on how you deal with him. Big numbers when you don't have a case. So it will be 2 times 5, it will be 10. Okay. Then card 1. 2 times 6 is 12. Plus 1, 13. Okay. Card 1. 2 times 4 is 8. Plus 1, 9. 2 times 3 is 6. Then because of this one, there's some plenty. I've got 6. 93 because of this one decimal place so this will maintain here or tend if we could just have multiplied this number just written it as 3 4 6 5 multiplied by 20 then move the two decimal places you are still going to get 693 then so i know that multiplying these two give me 693 then multiply by 7 the one which is on top, let me maintain the color so that you know what has changed and what has not changed. Multiply by 7. Then, over, we are going to say 9 times 11 to give me 99. So this is equal to R square. Then, once I have 99, I'll start looking. These numbers are given in such a way that they're either one decimal place when you simplify them or they're perfect number. So if I look at 9, which number can I multiply by 9 to give me the last number to be 3? That number should be 7, because 7 times 9 is 63. So if you have 99 times 7, 9 times 7 is 63, call 6. 9 times 7 is 63 plus 6, it will be 69, which is exactly this number I have. So meaning... This thing is the same as 7, this one is going to give me 7, times 7 is equal to R square. You see how, how easy it is. So, this is the same as 7 square is equal to R square. So, what is R? R is equal to 7. So, my answer is 7. So, the radius is 7. This is how you answer this question easily by playing with the numbers. Once you deal with numbers, then you discover that this question becomes easier. So follow those tips that I've given you. If you miss any step, please just play back. You'll be able to get it clearly. So let's look at question B. The ratio of areas of two similar solids are these. So this is areas. Then we are told that the volume of a bigger solid is this. We are looking for the volume of a smaller solid. So what we are given is the ratio of two areas. So the first step is to find the ratio of their sides. So ratio of sides. Because these are similar. So to find the ratio of the sides, we use this 9 over 25. Because it's the square. Area is in centimeter square. You see? That's what area is. So, meaning, these are squared. To find their relation of their sides, we find the square root of these ratios, which is the same as the square root of 9 over the square root of 25. So, the ratio of sides is 3 over 5. Square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 25 is 5. So, now, we find this. This is the ratio of their sides. So, to now... Convert this to the ratio of their volumes in such a way that we use this formula. Let me get space. The formula should be now volume of a smaller solid divided by volume of a larger solid is equal to the ratio of their side. So this side, I will let me use S so that I distinguish side of a smaller one we cube it then side of the larger one we cube it like that that's what it means so we find the the ratio of their sides is it three to five or three over five so what it would mean is now we have the volume of the larger one which is this one we're looking for the smaller one so it will be volume of a smaller one over 3 
75 is equal to 3 over 5 so it will be 3 over 5 but these are sides so you need to cube them so that they become the ratio of the volume so that's why we are cubing them remember we are given the ratio of the areas of these two similar solids so we add to find the ratio of their sides which is corresponding sides then after we find the ratio of the sides then we need to cube them to take them to the ratio of their volumes okay that's why we are cubing them we are raising them to the power 3 because the volume is in centimeter cubic so once we do that then we are going just to simplify so it will be vs smaller than 375 then equal to 27 over 125 then we are solving for vs so what this one tells me is volume of the smaller one is equal to 27 over 125 times 375 then this tells me that volume of a smaller solid is equal to 27 multiplied by 375 divided by 125 so this gives me 27 so 125 plus 125 is 250 plus 125 is 375 so this is 3 3 times 27 is 81 so this is 81 centimeter cubic so i just ignored the cubic so you notice that the moment we, we cube this centimeter this becomes cubic all of them this becomes cubic all of them this is cubic all of them and this is cubic all of them when you start multiplying you discover that they will cancel out and they will give us 81 centimeter cubic so this is how you answer this question so this becomes just 81 centimeter cubic then you get the four marks just like that so this is how you answer this question thank you for joining me i've taken a bit of time i needed to give you the context and give you the tips join me as we look at question 13.